Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be going through how to change the nighttime and daytime length and settings on your server, so stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to host your own ARC server, then I recommend renting one from Nitrado. They're also the official server provider for Wildcard. Go to jcartarray.com forward slash Nitrado to rent your own ARC server and help out the channel in the process. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm jcartarray from arcps4servers.com teaching you how to be better. And if you don't want it to be night all the time or you need to do some recording on your server like me, then you may want to scale the night time down a little bit and you may want to make the daytime longer. And thanks to um, Stephen Hughes who asked this question, he says, how can I change day and night lengths? Please, thanks and uh, please and thank you once again, bro. Uh, appreciate that, Stephen. Let me show you how to do that here. So here we are in settings. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in the simple settings and then in the expert settings after. So you just want to scroll down. You want to scroll down. Uh, there we are. So under gameplay, you can see day cycle speed scale and nighttime scale and daytime scale. So this day cycle speed scale defines the speed of a whole day. I wouldn't mess with that whatsoever because there's no need for what you want to do here. Nighttime scale will determine how long it how long night takes. So if you want this to be super super fast or you want it to happen quickly basically, you don't, you don't want nighttime to to last long, then you want to set this up to something like 5 or 4 or something like that so that it speeds up. So the higher you go, the quicker it goes the lower you go the longer it takes and that same thing applies with daytime so if you want daytime to take a little bit a little bit longer you can go like 0 0.5 or something and then you can set nighttime to like five or four i think i said on four and that was like pretty short nighttime gave you like five minutes and then it was just straight back to day but i did that because i need to record on my server and if it's night it really looks really really bad but i've since changed that on my servers because i haven't really been recording on on them like that and yeah it, it adds a bit of strategy to the game when you actually have the night time and stuff in there so that's how you do it that's an easy way to do it let's go to the expert settings over here and let's see if we can find that we are currently in the game any file okay so this actually <laughs> took me like 30 minutes to get to here so i kind of understand why this gentleman asked for this video now basically the way to get this to show up well there's two ways what you can do is you can just use this code and that generally should work like just use day time daytime speed scale equals then put your number or nighttime speed scale equals then put your number and that should work but if you want the server to put it in there for you because this actually isn't there when you go to expert settings it isn't there unless you change the settings what you need to do is you need to let me not even go over there all you need to do is you need to change the numbers in the actual normal settings um, if you haven't done expert mode already then this will be what you what you want to do if you're planning to go through to expert mode otherwise if you're already in expert mode just use the code because this is a long way and it's not worth it but if you don't want to use the code i'm going to give you the information anyways you want to go to normal settings then you want to edit the night time and day speed as i showed you how to do before then you want to save it then you want to restart then you want to change it to expert mode then save it then restart then go to expert mode and now the code is there and now you can actually change it to whatever you want and save it from here but honestly guys just copy the code just copy the code that should work usually like pretty much any time i've pasted code in here the code has just worked so just use the code now i hope this video helped you guys out like leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or if you've got any tutorials that you want me to make this took me way longer to make than i thought it was gonna take but 
Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next Ark Survival Evolved tutorial. Do you want to get more players and more exposure on your server? If your answer is yes, then go to arcps4servers.com right now. ArcPS4Servers.com is going to be my Arc server listing site where you can upload your server info and people can come and view through a list of servers and pick whichever one they want to play on. So enter your email address and you will get an email when the site officially launches and you can be one of the first people to have your server listed on the site. If you're watching this in the future, the site may already be up and you can submit your server information to be added to the list for free. You can also get a promoted spot on the website so you can get even more traffic and players for a monthly fee. Go to arcps4servers.com now and start to build your community. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you